This week in Kareth Kids, we are continuing our theme of the Holy Spirit and learning from the Bible all about how he works in our lives. Now, a few weeks ago, we celebrated the day of Pentecost. Maybe you remember that. It was the day that was really the beginning of the church. It was the day when the disciples were gathered together. They were scared and frightened. They really didn't know what was going on. Jesus had gone back to heaven and then the Holy Spirit came. Sounded like a rushing wind and looked like tongues of fire which landed on them. And thereafter, these men and women were never the same again. It changed their lives. The Holy Spirit brought them God's power into their lives to go out and tell people all about Jesus. Well, over the past few weeks, we've been learning about how the Holy Spirit can work in our lives. We've learned how he can help us, how he can guide us. And last week, we were learning about how he can bring us joy. So this week, we're looking at a different aspect of the Holy Spirit's work. Now, as we go through our lives, we are all going to experience different things. And those things that we experience cause us to feel different things. Now, we call those emotions. And some emotions are positive emotions, and some of them will make us feel quite bad. We might feel disappointment. We might be worried. We might get anxious. We might be angry. There are lots of things that make us feel different things. But there are situations in our lives that will make us sad. Um, I want to show you a picture. Here it is. This is my cat. And he was called Samson. And I loved Samson. You can see he was a gorgeous, big, fluffy ginger cat. And um, when he was about 10 years old, he became really, really ill and he died. And I can tell you, oh my goodness, was I sad when he died. Oh, good grief. I cried and cried for days. I thought I was never going to stop crying. I was so sad that he wasn't with us anymore. I actually did stop crying in the end. But that sadness is an emotion that will hit us at our lives at all sorts of different times. It might be that a pet dies, it might be that a relative dies or something else is happening to cause sadness. And people in the Bible weren't exempt from sadness either. Let me tell you about a man called Jairus. Now he was a ruler of the synagogue. The synagogue was the Jewish meeting place a bit like our church and I'm going to read this story to you from Luke's book. Luke was one of the gospel writers, one of um, the people who wrote down all the things that Jesus did, well not all the things but some of the things that Jesus did while he was on the earth. We find this in Luke chapter 8 and Jairus has come to Jesus. Jesus is as usual surrounded by loads of people who all wanted his attention but Jairus had a special reason to want to find Jesus. A man named Jairus came to Jesus. Jesus. Jairus was a ruler of the synagogue. He bowed down at Jesus's feet and begged him to come to his house. Jairus had only one daughter. She was 12 years old and she was dying. Jesus was on his way to Jairus's house and the people were crowding all around him. There's a bit more of the story which says that Jesus actually got delayed because there were so many people clamoring for his attention. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the house of the synagogue ruler and said to the ruler, your daughter has died. Don't bother the teacher now. When Jesus heard this, he said to Jairus, don't be afraid, just believe and your daughter will be well. Jesus went to the house. He let only Peter, John, James and the girl's father and mother go inside with him. 
all the people were crying and feeling sad because the girl was dead. Now in that culture, when somebody died, everybody came to start what we call mourning. There would have been loads and loads of people all crying loudly, wailing, sobbing, really making, oh, making it sound terrible. But Jesus said, don't cry. She is not dead. She is only sleeping. The people laughed at Jesus because they knew that the girl was dead. But Jesus took her by the hand and called to her, my child, stand up. Her spirit came back into her and she stood up immediately. Jesus said, give her something to eat. The girl's parents were amazed. Jesus told them not to tell anyone about what had happened. So in the Gospels, we find lots of stories where people are happy, people are excited. And this story was a story about people who were really, really sad. And Jesus came alongside them in their time of sadness. And that's similar to us. Now, we don't have Jesus in a physical body anymore, but we have the Holy Spirit. When we are sad, and it is un it is without doubt that we are going to experience sadness in our lives as human beings. When we are sad, we are promised by God that the Holy Spirit is always going to be with us. And the Holy Spirit can bring the comfort knowing that God is with us. It's like he's there hugging us just when we need a hug the most. was also a time when Jesus was talking to people when he talked about people who were sad because somebody had died. Remember we call that mourning. Now Jesus talked a lot to people and there's one time where he went up on a mountain and don't forget in those days they didn't have microphones and amplifiers and televisions. When he spoke to people it was only the people who were near him who could hear. So to make it better, he went up on a mountain where people could hear him better. And one of these times we actually call the Sermon on the Mount. Now, Jesus did not say, right, I'm now going to preach a sermon from a mountain. He just stood on the mountain and talked. But that's what we call it. And Jesus talked lots and lots about different situations. We can find these in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 5. And Jesus spoke one verse that has been really helpful to people for, for the whole of the time that we've had the Bible. When people have lost people, when they're sad. And it says this, I'll read it in, the, in a, an easier version. It says, those who are sad now are happy. God will comfort them. In the old version, it says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. But the same thing still applies. It means that when we are sad, when we're mourning somebody or something that has died, some situation that has gone, that won't come back, some then we know that God will comfort us. His Holy Spirit will be with us and we only need to ask him to be reminded of that. You hear me when I call You are my morning song Through darkness feels the night It cannot hide the light Whom shall the enemy underneath my feet you are my sword and shield though trouble 
When we pray, we can listen in all sorts of positions. So let's pray together. Father God, thank you that you sent your Holy Spirit to us so that we know you're with us. Thank you for how the Holy Spirit works in our life. Thank you that when we are sad, the Holy Spirit can bring us comfort. Thank you that we know we are never on our own. You never, ever leave us. In Jesus' name, Amen. And there you go. Have a great week and see you soon.